Hi, Rob. Uh, I'm breathless after that game. What did you make of it? Yeah, a, a tough game against uh, you know a really a really strong outfit, and and the league table doesn't lie. You know they're out there on their own to a certain extent. So yeah, we knew it was going to be tough. Uh, you know, first half thought we played really really well. Uh, quality of play was good. We were really organised. We had good shape. Um, and, and we made it difficult for them to get through us, and, and, and we created some opportunities and ch some chances. Um, you know, second half was a little bit more challenging. They they, they put us under a little bit more pressure. Um, you know, and our decision making second half has probably cost us a little bit. Um, you know, we got penned in, and, we, and, they, and they applied some pressure, and we just defended ten plus corners. You know, and 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 and, and obviously that showed in the end a little bit. But um, you know, there was plenty to there was plenty to be positive about out there. And that that final piece, that, that 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 quality of finishing, or that final ball, you know, it's, we, we, we just need that little bit more, um, you know. But lots to build on moving forwards. Yeah, I mean, it felt we carried on from games of Trinity second half. I mean, there was a real bit of swagger in the team. There was some beautiful but like, interplay of the ball. You could see sort of in one particular move where loose Gilboy got through like one two on the edge of the area and just couldn't quite squeeze the shot in. Uh, you know, and it was great entertaining. What, football to watch and you know it felt like we were kind of playing around Radcliffe as opposed to playing you know against them yeah no I, like I say our intensity was good uh, you know we we're on the front foot from the first minute and um, you know we we're aggressive in our pressing um, and when we and when we regained we looked to play forward and move the ball quickly and, and, and have forward runners and and that's obviously what what created chances for us and you know I, I think certainly that first half performance we went absolutely toe to toe with them um, you know, and then second half the game changed a little bit, and, and you know they put a little bit more pressure on us. I guess that's experience to a certain extent, mm -hmm. understanding what the game requires in certain moments, and and that's maybe where we've you know we've got to improve um, in our decision making all through the pitch, really. Yeah, I mean you could say probably I mean the relative ages of the team. So Radcliffe have got quite a sort of senior team. Uh, the university, so we've got a younger team, and that energy was basically sort of what carried us through in the first half. As you could see, that probably that just that little bit of know how and now, and just sort of like finding a way to win um, was probably the difference. Yeah, they've got players that have played National League North and National League, and, and some have played higher, you know, and, and you know, that, that experience is, is invaluable. I guess, I guess for them, for us, you know, we don't quite have them luxuries. But what we do have is a really good group of lads, really honest, hardworking lads, and and I think that showed out there tonight. You know, the reception from the fans at the end. You know, they've give everything. Um, you know, and there's players there that, that that will develop, that will get better. Um, and I guess we've got to support them in their progression as well, and 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 try and get that little bit more out of them, and and help them understand what Northern Premier League football requires and the decision making and. And, and what's required at certain moments in the game, and I guess second half that's probably what's caught us out a little bit tonight, you know. But but it, there's plenty to build on, like I say. Yeah, I mean, you'd say probably the the probably the biggest factor we started to look a bit sort of tired at about sort of sixty sixty five minutes, and obviously you know it's a relatively heavy pitch, and you know yeah. the amount of intensity that had been put in in that first hour, um, you could see it, it was start to sap. Yeah, we you know we've got a few lads that uh, you know Jan's playing. He's played three games back to back. He's I think he's done one training session. It's been out a little bit of time, so you know he he did tire. Um, you know, there's other people out there that are, are carrying little bits, but you know, to every credit, that they, they want to be out there and they're giving the role for the club and, and and for the staff and for themselves. So you know, we we understand that they that they are issues that that are there, but listen, they're giving the role. They give absolutely everything, you know. And, and I guess if you look back at some of the other performances, you know, Matt Locke, we didn't that day, but I think the last the, since that performance, we've we've given everything out there, and you can see that that commitment and and, and integrity to to the shirt and to give everything for for the fans at are in. You know, tonight just wasn't quite our night, um, but you know they've 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 had them nights against quite a lot of other teams in, in the league this season. So yeah, we're disappointed. Um, you know, we, we we've got to regroup now and, and get prepped and get ready for Whitby. Um, you know, and if we give a similar account of ourselves as, as, as we have certainly first half tonight, um, you know, it gives us a real chance to, to to get some points. You know, and a lot of points between now and the end of the season. That that consistency really is is and that high, that front footed high intense performance is exactly what we're after. Yeah, I mean, just to finish, I mean, obviously, I stood by the touchline as the players were coming off, and they all looked absolutely devastated. You know, it's not kind of like oh well, we're unlucky, but you know, we 
just you could tell they wanted to yeah. win it so badly. And, you know, the pride in the shirt was just you could just pick it up. Uh, listen, that's that's the demand from the manager. That's the expectation of this football club. That's what the people that, that come through the gate expect. That's it for me. You know, that's the bare minimum. Effort, commitment, leave everything out there. And you know, some days it will be your night, and 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 you, the quality of your play will be be perfect. But then there'll be other days when, you know, it won't be. But that's football. Um, you know, but I guess that commitment and that endeavour and that that work rate, you know, that is a that is the bare minimum of this football club, and 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 that's exactly what we got tonight. And moving forward, we we got to work and try and improve that quality. And if we do that, we'll you know we'll win plenty of games between now and the end of the season. That's for sure. Okay, thank you very much. See thank you, you very much. See you soon. Congratulations, George. The Josie Folks Man of the Match, as chosen by FCM Radio. Um, that was a pretty busy game you had there. Yeah, it was good. Uh, obviously, nice to face a few shots, obviously, on my end. Because, um, obviously, as a goalie, you want to make as many saves and many decent saves. And obviously, you get some games where you don't do a lot. Uh, so, it's nice to face a few shots and, obviously, help out of what I can do. Um, obviously, didn't get the like, a point or anything out of the game, but I thought... Done not too bad. I think we should have got at least something, a draw maybe. Um, but it's how it goes on the day. Two games now, games with Trinity where you kept clean sheet, and today where you're man of the match. Uh, obviously, sort of finding it relatively uh, straightforward. Yeah, no, I've, I've enjoyed it. Obviously, like coming in, it's a new uh, like surrounding and stuff like that. Obviously, you're going to be a bit nervous, like as anyone would. Um, but I suppose as soon as you find you're a bit comfortable and start like getting used to it and stuff, and it's like getting used to everything like new people new cities new like just basically everything like as, as soon as you get used to that i think you can start going along and pro producing like good performances obviously and it helps that there's a nice like set of boys as well obviously um got good boys at the back as well to help me out so uh, it's obviously a bit more comfortable man that yeah. you've got them in front of you as well so no, yeah. it's been good. So obviously, if people tell from your accent you're not from around here. You joined uh, joined City from South End, where you can't spend your years. Yeah, thirteens till sixteens, uh, and then obviously joined City. So I'm a scholar, and I've been there since. So yeah, it's been good. And have you played? Uh, have you played any other sort of like men's football? Uh, we've obviously had the EFL Cup, um, which is obviously quite challenging because you play against men's teams, play against Grimsby, Bradford, and uh, Barnsley very difficult tests and then obviously we've had youth league which is obviously not a men's game but it's still a very high level of like yeah, I think it's a totally different game like you've got two different games coming from like obviously playing uh, city obviously play quite slower and more um like through through the thirds um whereas here's kind of more you've got to be a bit more on your feet um obviously because if you if you take too long you just get smashed and you lose the ball and obviously it means something to like obviously make mistakes and stuff because you don't get the three points at the end of the day and that's what you obviously want to work towards. Yeah, well, it's something that you you, you seem to you take it to like a duck to water to, obviously, you saw like clean sheet on the Saturday, as I mentioned, then the Joseph Holt man in match today. So uh, congratulations and see you in Whitby on Saturday. Cheers, thank you. Yeah,